everyone, my name is Arvin Alano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but in today's video, I thought I would share a couple of different ways to style a console table. Yeah. share my top tips and tricks but before I begin if you're looking for a channel that's gonna help you live your style so that you can live a fashionable life this is it so you can go down below and hit that subscribe button so let's get on with the styling and I wanted to walk you through what the console normally looks like here in my bedroom I want it to feel functional but at the same time decorated and intentional so I have a few new pieces that I'm going to show you and I'm just gonna start decorating as I go and I'm gonna let you know where I got everything from now if I can link any of these down below I will some of these are from home goods some are from Pier one so a lot of the pieces might not be available online but I'll try my best so when I'm styling a console table I normally start with a blank canvas that way I can move things around freely and I like to start with the bigger items first too that way they really ground the space. So I'm going to start with this Tom Ford book. It's one of my favorite design pieces and I love it because it's so massive and it really kind of takes up a lot of the console. So I want it to be kind of in the center and I'm going to put another book on top which is this Louis Vuitton book. I took off the cover and it revealed this like really stunning chocolate brown cover and it says Louis Vuitton right there. So good. And just put it kind of right on top of the other book. I love stacking the books together. That way it creates different levels and different heights. Now, what's next? So up next, I have this reclaimed wooden bowl and I feel like these are great for a bedroom because it kind of acts as a catch-all. Now I got this from Home Goods. It currently has like a few of my fine jewelry pieces. Um, I have one of my Rolexes in here that doesn't get used all the time, but I like to put this right on top of the book and already I'm loving the way it looks. I love the contrast of the wood with the books and I like how it pulls some of these warm tones here in the art piece as well. Next, since we are in my bedroom, I always have these linen sprays. These are from Anthropology. This one's eucalyptus and one is lavender cashmere. These are my favorite linen sprays and I use these all the time every night right before Andrew and I go to bed and I like to kind of place it behind the bowl. Again, adding those different levels and elements to create visual interest is really key to making a console table look really chic and stylish. Okay, up next, I like adding different shapes and textures. This Studio McGee bowl adds a nice shine factor, but not glam so that's really important and again it's playing with different kind of shapes i love the curvature of this bowl it actually houses ginger's treats that way um when she's begging for the treats at night it's right here and we don't have to go to our kitchen so i'm gonna put her okay we love that let's take a look there's some nice warm veining throughout the bowl so again it really pulls in the art piece it pulls in the books and the wood tones when you are decorating a console scale and proportion is really important since the art piece is massive i feel like i need to have substantial and large decor pieces like this bowl and sometimes that's all you need um right away you can see that by itself it looks really really nice so i'm gonna complete this vignette over here another thing that i like to do is to divide the console table in different sections so in this case i'm actually splitting it in three different little sections and i'm going to create little vignettes in each one so let's work on the next one together and that is so up next i'm going to use these really pretty solid wood figurines and if you haven't seen my last video i'm gonna link it up in the cards and down below in the description box you guys seem to really enjoy my shop with me videos which whew, thank god because i love to shop anyways these are from pier one they're solid mango wood they're actually really heavy and i'm going to set it 
up top over here. I love her and her curvatures. And this one is really nice too, a nice medium brown wood tone. Okay, actually, I wanna switch it like this. Notice that I'm also mixing a lot of different wood tones. Don't be afraid to mix and match. I feel like it really feels a bit more modern when you do that. If this was all one color, I feel like it would feel really flat and it would be too matchy-matchy and I feel like that's just not the vibes anymore. We wanna mix and match and just make sure that the wood tones are kind of speaking to each other. So I have like a light gray wash, we have a dark gray wash. Another thing that I like to do when grouping things together is I like to do like um, visualize little triangles. So if you look at this little vignette over here, you get almost like a wide base and it comes to a point at the top. So it's like a little boop, 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 little triangle. And I don't know why it works, it just does. I learned that in um, my visual merchandising class and it basically creates like an aesthetically pleasing Ooh, I just spit. An aesthetically pleasing formation? Aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And yeah, so I'm gonna add one last piece over here because when I'm grouping things together, I also want to do it in odd numbers. So think groups of ones, threes, fives, etc. So my last piece, I want to add a little bit of um, lightness to this styling because I have like a white creamy piece here. I'm going to add this white crystal that I got from Home Goods. I like it because it has this gold brass. And even though I don't have any brass in the console, I like adding touches of it because again, it creates that differentiation. You want to create different levels when you are decorating. That way when you are um, looking at your room or looking at the pieces, your eyes land on different parts of the table. This is a great little setup. It's simple, it's super chic, and it really pulls in a lot of the elements from the art piece. You know I like to keep things neutral. Anyways, what do you guys think? This is the first little setup. It's simple, it's practical, but still chic and decorated at the same time. We have our catch-all here to catch any... Where are you going? Can you just sit down? All right, comment down below and let me know what you think of this first setup and let's move on to the next style. All right, so I've cleared the console table once again and I feel like this next style is great for a little entry table moment. I'm going to start with the largest piece first, so let me go get her. Okay, this first piece is so heavy. I'm gonna put it down, I'm gonna put it down. <gasps> okay. Okay, so I always like to start in the middle first, and this first piece is actually a stone planter from At Home, and I've arranged a couple of different geodes and crystals inside, and it really gives off a restoration hardware luxe kind of vibe. I'm actually so proud of Andrew because he suggested adding the geodes in here, and this is normally in our um, console table outside, but again, I'm thinking of like an entryway and you wanna make that statement, but keep it neutral and still really earthy. Another thing I like to do when decorating is I like to add lots of high contrast using neutral colors. So what that means is we have a light gray wash table and I have a dark kind of stone bowl that adds lots and lots of contrast. Now the geodes add kind of that sparkly touch, which I love. Oh my God, I'm really talking a lot. Let me just move on to the next vignette, girl. So what I want to do next is to add a few coffee table books. And this time I'm using all white. We're trying to recreate a luxe restoration hardware kind of vibe. And they love using lots of white books. So put it here in this corner. Now this console is a little bit small, I will admit. Um, but it wasn't bad for the price and honestly, I just needed something here in the bedroom that looked chic, stylish, and simple, so this is perfect. So I stacked a couple of white books to pull in the whites from the geodes, the art piece. You want to think about the pieces to see how it would kind of match with the rest of the styling. But I love the way the white books look, it looks super chic. So next, I want to add a couple of different objects just to bring in that visual interest and I love adding different shapes and textures 
These are brand new. I actually still have the tag. These two pieces are kind of vintage looking African medallions and they're super heavy. They're from Restoration Hardware. The details are insane on these, you guys, but I'm going to add it here. Again, I'm thinking about high contrast. We have the white books and a little bit darker figurines. So up next, I want to add a really large statement piece. And I'm going to use this pottery barn vessel. I love it because it looks almost like a European vessel that they got, ooh, that's like super old and vintage. And I'm going to place her right there. I feel like there might be a lot of really large pieces in this little moment here. Let's take a step back. Actually, not bad. I'm still okay with um, the way it looks. Again, there's a lot of different height levels here in this moment. So I have these olive branches. They're stunning. I got them from Amazon. I'm gonna link them down below for you. And basically, you can add it to any vessels to add even more extra height. So since I'm um, picturing this for an entryway, there's a lot of really beautiful and interesting details. I really love the way this turned out. I think this moment here is so striking. It's my favorite thing. And adding like vintage style vessels make it feel like a cozy, curated, and really luxe kind of home. You know what I mean? Okay, so I feel like if you have a large and long entryway, this is a great little moment. Comment down below and let me know if you liked the first styling or if you like this one a little bit better. All right, so let's move on to the last console table moment. So first up, I have these cane um, decorative boxes. I got these from Pier One because they are going out of business and lots of really great sales. And I'm going to place this right in the middle. That way I can ground the space and the table. I love how it pulls in the warm tones of the art piece. I'm always keeping that in mind when I'm designing and styling a space or a little console moment. Next, I have this um, really pretty wooden piece. I actually got this from Home Goods, and I don't know, something about this feels like vintage and primitive. It kind of matches the vibe of the art piece. This piece is actually, um, it's called the Primitive Landscape um, piece from Crate and Barrel, and I'm just gonna put that right on top. It will act as a catch-all, and it will kind of house my watches, my rings, I love how it's tonal as well, like the wood tone and the cane. Love a good warm, cozy moment there. Next up, I want to add a couple of books. And this one is the Dior Catwalk. And I also have the Prada Catwalk. Now, I got these for buy two, get one free. So I'm gonna link them down below. I think the sale is still happening and it's a great time to buy aesthetic and neutral colored books. So let me stack these down here. I love these books so much because they're really big and they're really thick in size too. The books, I mean. So I have these vintage style clay pots. These are from Restoration Hardware. They're super old looking, which I love. It will help to add that kind of lived in and well-traveled kind of vibe. So let's just add her like that. Already, I am loving the way the books look together with the dove gray, little bit of blue, and those colors always work really well with um, brown and warm tones. So I have these mango wood figurines from Pier One. They have that primitive kind of vibe, and let's just see what they look like on this side of the console. Okay, I'm actually quite happy with this look. These figurines are really tall and massive. Another thing you want to keep in mind is if you have tall, ooh, if you have tall and vaulted ceilings, you want to use pieces that reach to the sky. That way it really draws your eyes up and it makes your space feel even larger. So I kind of mirrored each side of the console using two objects here, two objects here, and keeping in mind like different shapes, different textures, just to create the maximum amount of visual interest. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a few tips and tricks on how to style your console or even your media console as well. 
Make sure you sound off on the comments down below. Let me know which look was your favorite. Was it table number one, table number two, or table number three? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone! Welcome.